Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it is a true, true honour and a privilege to be standing here. Um, I, like you, was uh, sitting there uh, as a graduate December uh, 1995, so the weather wasn't quite like it is today. Um, and to think that I've uh, come to stand here from that is just truly amazing, but it is a real privilege uh, for me and my dodgy moustache to be standing here in front of you. Um, congratulations to every single one of you here, uh, be it those of you that are receiving uh, any sort of degree or all of you who are here to watch and, uh, and I'm sure are so proud of your loved ones um, having their big day today. Congratulations, please do enjoy it. Um, as Anita said, um, for me, my career path has been varied, it's been surprising, um, I've never expected it and I think that's probably what I have loved about it the most. But if there is one thing that I think is um, probably the common theme that I've learnt to accentuate, it's to make a difference. I would uh, propose that the biggest thing that you can ever do in your career, be it um, whether you're in a career that makes lots of money or not, is that believing that in some way you have somehow made a difference. And I think the key to making a difference is people. Um, I represent an organisation today that uh, this year, when we run the Movember campaign in the 11th month of the year, we will uh, pass the mark where we've raised more than $1 billion globally for men's health. That is a global charity that started 13 years ago because of four blokes in a pub in Melbourne who said, why don't we do something daft? Why don't we grow a moustache next month? And from their passion and from their friendships and their commitments, they have turned this, and with lots of other important people and lots of committed people with incredible drive and inspiration, into the movement that it Movember is today. It's the simplest idea, but it was put together with energy, drive and passion, and probably most importantly, with friendships, with connections that were made earlier in life at school or at university. If you ask some of the leading scientists in the world at the moment what is the biggest risk that we have to health, one of the more common answers that is coming out now, and there is leading research coming from many organisations and institutions, is that the biggest risk that we have to our health in many ways is loneliness and lack of social connection. And I think that is exemplified in some of the issues around men's health. Eight out of ten people who take their life every year in the UK are men. Suicide is the biggest killer, bar any, of men under the age of 40. And too often, it's because men don't reach out early enough. It's because they don't talk to friends, and they don't talk to family, and they feel isolated. And we can see suicide rates increasing in older men, and we can also see that men with prostate cancer are diagnosed much, much later than women with equivalent disease because they don't reach out and talk to people. So if you take that idea of social connections and if you take that idea of friendship and the ability not just to learn, just not to know facts, but to talk to people, you have a potent mix that can change and save lives. So if I have one piece of advice to you to go from here today, is go and make a difference, but do it with great people working together. We can reduce the stigma, we can increase the knowledge of issues like mental health and prostate cancer and testicular cancer. But actually, the friendships that you've formed today and that you've built across your university life, I encourage you to maintain them. Keep connected with the university and everybody here, because keeping those networks and those connections not only might lead you to the next great idea, but it might also be the thing that uh, actually saves somebody's life along the way. So, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. You've all done a great job. Enjoy it. Go and do great things with great people.